Hi, welcome to Cycling Vancouver. My name's Steve. Do you ever see those horse-drawn carriages in tourist areas and wonder who hires those? Well, I do. Sometimes. Today is Monday, May 9th, 2022, and it's a beautiful sunny day in Florence. And it's getting very hot. We arrived here last night, and this is our first full day in the city. After a good bit of walking around the old city, we returned to Tourist Central, the area around the Domo, and I saw several horse-drawn carriages available for hire. The last time I hired one was in Amsterdam in 2010, and we really enjoyed that. So I inquired about hiring one here. The price, 150 euros for one hour. A little expensive, but being we just arrived, I hadn't had much chance to spend money yet, so I agreed. Andrea wasn't so pleased. Whatever, she'll like it. So why did I hire the carriage? Well, we'll be here for a week, but we had only just arrived in town and didn't really know our way around yet. Second, my feet were already sore from all the walking and the week was early. Third, if you're gonna take a tour, I figure it's best to take one that moves fairly slowly and permits 360 degree views without any roof obstructions. Four, everyone loves horses and everywhere we traveled, the horse sure got a lot of attention. That was fun. Fifth, Florence is an old city and the roads were laid out when horses and carriages were the main methods of transport other than foot, so I figured what better way than to see the city. And as you'll see, I was right about that. And unexpectedly, it was quite entertaining to see our driver carrying on with locals as we passed by. my house in my face. We'll come and visit more often then. Yeah. Yourself anyway. <laughs> Look at that, how pretty are those things too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Ercole Sabini, Ercole, lo vediamo a Grini, Ercole, Spaccio Mandinelli e Grini Perseus, benvenuto Celli. Mm -hmm. TV channel show. That is the Bargello National Museum and it houses some of the most important Renaissance sculptures including Donatello's David and several others. This is lit up at night. She likes the city. You can see the Ponte Vecchio Bridge off in the distance. We walked across it this morning. It's quite something. I thought for a moment that perhaps we were going to tour through to the south side of the Arno River. Alas, he pulled a 180 on the bridge and we returned to the north side. because they have like uh, you can do one day two day most of your book
On top of the hill south of the Arno is Michelangelo's Piazza. There's a nice climb up and you can get a great view of the city from there. We visited there on our last day in Florence. Yeah. Our driver told us that this, the Basilica of Santa Croce, is an important building that we must visit. It holds the tombs of Michelangelo, Galileo, Machiavelli, Rossini, and others. We visited it the following day. Most of these roads are one way, for good reason. But we got caught in a jam behind that parked van. The van moved forward so we could pass. Then our driver had to back up the carriage and we resumed our trip. People really love seeing the horse. Everywhere we went, our horse was the star and drew lots of attention. It's already over, right? So he doesn't have any chance to talk to I don't think nearly as many people do a long route. <laughs>
And back to the Domo. This was a really nice ride through the city, and I am glad I hired them. <laughs> 